the story of a place called Monkland. Monkland was a place where all the little mice lived and played, and were born and died, and they lived much as you and I do. They even had a parliament. And every four years they had an election. They used to walk to the polls and cast their ballots. Some of them even got a ride to the polls. Got a ride for the next four years afterwards, too. Just like you and me. And every time on election day, all the little mice used to go to the ballot box and they used to elect a government. A government made up of big, fat, black cats. Now, if you think it's strange that mice should elect a government made up of cats, you just look at the history of Canada for the last 90 years, and maybe you'll see that they weren't any stupider than we are. Now, I'm not saying anything against the cats. <laughs> they were nice fellows. They conducted the government with dignity. They passed good laws. That is, laws that were good for cats. But the laws that were good for cats weren't very good for mice. One of the laws said that mouse holes had to be big enough so a cat could get his paw in. Another law said that mice could only travel at certain speeds so that a cat could get his breakfast without too much physical effort. All the laws were good laws for cats, but all they were hard on the mice. And life was getting harder and harder. And when the mice couldn't put up with it anymore, they decided something had to be done about it. So they went and massed to the pole. They voted the black cat out. And they put in the white cat. <laughs> the white cat, the white cat had put up a terrific campaign. They said all that mouse land needs is more vision. <laughs> they said the trouble with mouse land is those round mouse holes we've got. If you put us in, we'll establish square mouse holes. And they did. And the square mouse holes were twice as big as the round mouse holes. And now the cat could get both his paws in. And life was tougher than ever. And when they couldn't take that anymore, they voted the white cats out and put the black ones in again. And then they went back to the white cats, and then to the black cats. They even tried half black cats and half white cats. <laughs> and they called that coalition. <laughs> they even got one government made up of cats with spots on it. They were cats that tried to make a noise like a mouse, but they ate like a cat. <laughs> you see, my friends, the trouble wasn't with the color of the cat. The trouble was that they were cats. And because they were cats, they naturally looked after cats instead of mice. Presently, there came along one little mouse who had an idea. My friends, watch out for the little fellow with an idea. And he said to the other mice, look, fellas, why do we keep on electing a government made up of cats? Why don't we elect a government made up of mice? Oh, they said he's a Bolshevik. Lock him up. <laughs> so they put him in jail. <laughs> But I want to remind you that you can lock up a mouse or a man, but you can't lock up an idea. 